Hello, this is uh, Kyle Brady again from WordPress Exposed, and today uh, going to be a short little video, not about WordPress. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Google Alerts and why that is important. So, uh, essentially, Google Alerts is a service from Google that will automatically send you notices when it detects uh, any uh, content uh, based on keywords that you put, and it will send those to you so you can see. Um, I use it to track. Uh, when I am um, the content is is uh, discovered by Google that I'm concerned about namely my sites or my business so let me show you how that's set up okay you see here I've just gone to Google and I typed in a search Google alerts and it took me to the search results uh, the top one is Google alerts uh, www.google.com slash alerts so that's the proper link to go to to set up your alert all right here's where you will set up your alert all right here is where you will set up your alert type in the search term you want um, <clears throat> I recommend putting in the name of your business maybe even the name of a competitors business uh, maybe your name and your city. If I were to put in my name, I would get in the name of a uh, famous Santa Hill football player. So that doesn't, I have to narrow it down so I include would include my city. But I'll just put in we'll put in the name of the photography business design center. Um, type I just leave it on comprehensive, it'll search everything. How often I prefer once a day you can have it as it happens, so immediately, or once a week. If it gets to be too much, you can always change it to uh, a lesser frequency. Uh, and then deliver to either your email address, and it does have to go to a Google account, or to a feed, and it will give you an RSS feed you can use in your um, RSS reader, um, such as Google Reader or uh, whatever you may use. I just would rather have it sent to my email and I will click click alert okay and this is what I get photography business design center note that I put it in quotes so it's looking for that whole uh, phrase there just as it's written if I were to not include the quotes uh, those words could be in any order and that would trigger a uh, result but I want them to be in that specific order so um, I'll show you uh, I'll do one more alert I'll type in my name and then my city. So my name will be in quotes and then I'll leave the city outside the quotes. I'll leave everything the same and create the alert. All right, so now I have two alerts and um, my name in quotes and Sarita, name of my city, outside quotes. So if it were to detect a blog post or a news article, um, that talked about me and it also mentioned the city I live in, Sarita, then it would trigger a result and I would get an email. Likewise, if um, my uh, business name there was uh, talked about somewhere online, it would trigger a result and I would uh, be alerted. So this is good because it lets you know when people are talking about you. It also lets you know when Google comes and looks through your site and finds new contact on your site. So it'll also spider your own site and you'll see when your blog posts are spidered um, uh, as well. So I recommend that everybody do this. It requires just a few minutes and then you just set it and leave it. You can always come back and edit it if it gets to be too much email. But um, if you got, or get a lot of email, that's a good thing because then people are talking about you. But it just lets you know what's going on. And that's it.